What's up, YouTube? It's Verdix here, bringing you guys another commentary. And I hope you enjoyed that little intro there at the beginning of this video. Uh, it's the first intro I've ever had on any of my videos, and it was free. So I decided, what the heck, I might as well. Uh, so that is why it's there. I got it off this free website for intros. Well, it has intros you can pay for between like $1 to $5. But there's also free ones, and that's how I got this one, because I didn't feel like paying for one. So... It's called like flickspress.com. I don't know for sure. I got it off. I found out about the website from someone that I'm subscribed to. They made a video about it. And so I decided just to go check it out because I've always wanted an intro, but I've never really wanted to pay for one. So them being free is awesome. And I've never really, I don't have the software on my computer to make my own. Uh, I don't have Cinema 4D or Sony Vegas or whatever the fuck people use to make intros. I don't know. Uh, but I have Photoshop, and that's how I made that little picture there that comes out after the, all the dominoes fall down, the little verdicts. So, I do have Photoshop to make shit like that, but I don't have hard Cinema 4D or Tony it. Vegas or whatever it is that you make hard intros hard with. But anyway, that is off topic. What I want to talk about today is how to get started in a competitive, specifically involving finding a team. And I know I've made a video entitled Getting Started in Competitive, but... Um, I want to go more in depth on specifically how to find a team in this video because in that video it was more of a just <clears throat> it was more of a getting started and competitive and it gave you a general idea of what to do and what a competitive was so if you want to go watch that video feel free uh, it will be it's on my channel obviously so if you want to watch it you may um, but in this video, I'm just I'm just gonna be going into specifically how to find a team. So let's get into it. Uh, first way to find a team is to uh, all right. The easiest way to find a team would be simply to have a friend on your friends list that has a team of three already and is looking for one. You just hit them up like, uh, "What's up, man? I'm trying to get in competitive. Uh, would you mind trying me out for your t GB team?" They're like, "Sure. You make it. You're on a team." And you're starting, you already have your team, and you're already on your way to becoming a well, or a ver a good competitive player, I should say. <clears throat> but for some people, it's not that easy. For me, it actually was that easy, to be honest. Uh, I had this friend that I was like, I hit up, and I was like, uh, you should really get me on your GB team. And he was like, alright. So I was on the team, and blah, blah, blah. A lot of stuff happened, and now I'm not on that team. But... For some people, it isn't that easy, so I'm going to give you guys some tips on what you can do to try to find a team if it isn't that easy for you. Uh, the one tip that I can suggest that may or may not always work, but a lot of the times there's a lot of chances for it to work, is to go on the GB Game Battles forums and just go to the... I don't know what I was doing right there, spraying at walls. But on GameBattles.com, go to the Recruiting and... Recruiting and free agents tab for obviously Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, whatever you play, and then Black Ops 2. So, uh, and then there's always people posting on there that they're, uh, they'll sometimes say what their rank is on Game Battle, so it'll be like 10k, looking for three dedicated players, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, there's usually a lot of people posting on there. Game Battles is a very popular website, and people are always posting on the forums there. So you will find people, but you not, might not find people you exactly want to play with. Uh, so, that's the main, uh, that is the, I will say, I'll say easiest. That might be the easiest for you guys. Uh, you're, all you have to do is go check a forum and find a team of three looking for one. Get a tryout, make the team, and bang, you're on a team and you're in. But... Uh, other than that, you, other ways would be to possibly hit up with someone on your friends list that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, you don't want to hit up a shitty player and then have to play with them. And no one's going to want to play with you guys because he's so fucking bad. And then, I mean, you might be good and they might want you. I guess that, that could be a plus. But other than that, no. So try to make it someone good. And then with that player play doubles and then once you find or once you, while you're playing doubles you could look at those teams that you're playing against if they are good if you play a good team 
and maybe it's a close game, or pretty much maybe if it's a close game, because if you smack them, you don't want those people on your team because you just smack them and they're not nearly as good as you, and if they smack you, they're not going to want you on their team because of the same reason. So they're going to have to be near your skill level, the game is probably going to have to be somewhat close, uh, but you could go on there and once you find a team, ask them if they would like to play team ladder with you, and then if they say yes, you have a team right there, uh, and that works out perfectly, but also you might not want to play doubles, you might not enjoy playing doubles, because I don't really like doubles, I've never really played doubles that hard, but uh, I've never really enjoyed it, I thought it was, I've always thought it was more of a luck and timing type of game type, whereas team is more strategy than teamwork, and you know, team chemistry, so, uh, Maybe if you're like me, you don't want to play doubles, you just want to have, but you still have a friend that's good that would like to get into competitive along with you. Uh, what you could do is go on the forums again and look for two. It's a lot easier to find two than it is to find three. Anyone, any team looking for one, any team of three looking for one is usually um, not going to... They're not going to take someone that's just getting into the game because they're usually going to be pretty experienced and probably would have just like dropped a player off their team. So, you know, they're probably going to be pretty good and not want someone that's just getting into it. But I mean, maybe you can do that. Uh, but with another player, you might find two other people that are just getting into it. Uh, or you might find two other people looking for two, obviously. And they might want to pick you up. So it's, in my opinion, easier to find two than it is to find three. So that is the reasoning behind that. One way that my team was going to go about uh, finding a new fourth, because if you watched my team update video, we did find a fourth, but his schedule kind of conflict conflicted with ours, and he wasn't really on enough, so he just withdrawed from the team. And now we have to find a new fourth and I think we found it already but I'm not gonna put a video out so fast this time just because I don't want to um, be that guy on YouTube that switches teams every week so uh, I'm just gonna make sure this is gonna stick this time but uh, yeah if what we were gonna do is go into league and look for good players and that which might not always be the best idea because there could be some people just slapping in league because they're playing some bad kids but a lot of the time in league those players are going to be pretty good you might get the occasional iron or bronze that fucking sucks at the sucks ass at the game but most of the time you're going to be playing with some pretty good kids so uh, you could probably pick one of them up if they're looking to get into GB as well they might not even know what GB is and just be good at the game so, uh, once again, that would be a new player for you to pick up getting into the scene uh, instead of just having to, instead of it being like a player that knows about it. So, uh, that's another way to do it is to go into league, go into pubs. I would not suggest pubs because pubs are, for, I'm not going to say randoms, but people in pubs are usually not as good as the people in league or in game battles uh, because... They don't have that competitive mindset, they don't think in a competitive way, uh, like situational, like most of us players do. So that's why I wouldn't go with pubs. League is a little bit more competitive, so you know they might they're probably gonna be a little bit better making the transition from uh, league to GB competitive than from pubs to GB competitive. Uh, so there's that way, and that's pretty much all I got for how to find a team, guys. Uh, pretty much is uh what did i go over i said two one go on the gb forums two find a friend that's good that you would not mind playing with and then either playing doubles or searching the forums as two people looking for two more and then also you can go into league or pubs if you want to and find a player through that but thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like if you loved it be sure to favorite and if you want to see more from me in the future make sure you hit that subscribe button but this has been vertex and i'm out gentlemen